So people's carrying on with the old test equipment. And I think every maintenance and service engineer should have. Now, if you're in the maintenance game and service, you're going to come across sensors. And I've got a little pouch here. And I'll keep it in my toolbox. So. Now, what I've got here is my sensor tester. I'll go through that a bit more in a minute. And then I've got my more common leads. Is we've got our M8s, three and four pins. And then we've got our M12s here. That's because what you want to do is. It, the best bet is always to go back to your PLC and get your inputs. But if you've got a locally tester sensor and you want to do a quick time, what you can do is you can just hook this is into one of these leads, plug it into this, and I'll do that now. So as you can see, I've put my positive and my negative into the inputs. Now on a four core cable normally your black would be in normally closed and your white's normally open. But on this, with your ultrasonic sensor, we've got to teach them. So your black is your, is your input and then your white is your teach. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go quickly show you how it works. This sensor tester. Now this can test PMP and MPN. Now I'm not going to go into that too much. I can do if you want, but what quickest and easiest way to think of this is PMP switches your positive and NPN switches your negative. So if anybody wants me to do a bit more depth for that, I can do, but not on this one. So all we've got is this ultrasonic sensor, as you can see, we'll set it to our level sensor at 150 mil, because that's when we want to give it back the signal. So as you can see, this is seeing 150 mil, and then as I pull away, so it's normally open, normally closed. And as you can see with these uh, sensor tester box, what we can do is we can do free wire configurations. So you normally open, so you normally close, and it shows you where to put your cables and your two wires. It even shows you what your colours are. These are a handy bit of kit, this really is. I don't know what I could do without it. Even as a power supply, 24 volt DC, it, it really helps. So a way an ultrasonic sensor works is we're using this as a level sensor at the moment on some of our tanks. So what you've got here, so how ultrasonic sensor works is we've got an electronic signal being sent down to a piezo transducer and that is converting it into a sound wave. And what that's doing is that's being sent out, bounced back and then that's being timed. That's called timing flights and then that's done around about five times every second. So what you can see is we've got our light indicator there and as you can see I'll go down to about 100 below 150 mil and that's coming off because it knows that that time frame is being beat and then it comes up because how I'm doing that is I'm going to put this in this test block and then what I come over to here is because oh, I've got my paperwork here and it shows you you'll see this this will come in any kind of sensor pack and what it'll do is just pin configurations and then it's showing you your colours your numbers and then this is how you set it up so what you can see is we've got three different kind of options. So what we normally go for is just on and off, but you can have like a window, so you're setting two points, and then you've got how to change it from normally closed to normally open. But the easiest way to do it is, what you want to do is you put it in your test block, put the cable in, and then with that set to the 150 mil in our little jig, then you take your teach button and you put that on your positive for three seconds off that'll be flashing yellow and green and you dab it back on because what you're doing then is you're telling the ultrasonic sensor the time frame that it needs to so now with the level sensor on the machine itself i'm going to show you how i would test it plc side and this is the best and the only way really to get a true reading so here we got is our bank of plc's there and what we're going to look for is the code for the plc we're going to look for our inputs that's 9k1 and there we go the module 9k1 and then what we're going to look for is look across the inputs and we find our level sensor there you go there's our sensor itself and as you can see we've got our 24 volts coming in on the blue and the brown and then we've got a black switch cable coming out and that shows us what terminal that goes into the plc so drop the cover down 
as you can see we've got our 24 volt that's what powers the plc itself and then alongside that is the inputs voltage going out to the inputs the 24 volts and then your negative and there's your terminals for all of the inputs so what we're going to do is we're going to look for what number it is and on the schematic it's shown is it's x10 so we're going to look back up make sure we've got x10 so we know what we're looking at and it's 10.5 and as you can see the lights lit up and that's an input to our front back from our input and using your meter you can also you check from the negative to your input checking you got 24 volts coming back because if you're just relying on the led of the sensor that could have a loose negative and you could be throwing you now if you've been watching this you're allegedly approved <laughs>